Hello everyone. Pancakes are ideal breakfast to face a long day ahead or as a weekend brunch. Today let's learn how to make the perfectly light, fluffy and moist pancake every single time. First let's take three large eggs to a mixing bowl. Then we add half cup sugar to it. Let's break down the eggs a little bit and then whisk it up until the sugar is well dissolved. A very important thing to remember, whether you make a cake or a pancake, all the ingredients you use should be at room temperature. Now we'll add all the liquids, 3 tablespoons oil. I love using canola oil as it has a higher smoke point. Unlike butter, it won't overbrown my pancake. One and a half teaspoon vanilla essence. Next is our magical ingredient, one cup yogurt. The acid in yogurt will activate the baking soda and create small air bubbles and make our pancake really fluffy. Half cup milk for the rich flavor and the perfect texture. Let's whisk until the liquids are well combined. Now we'll get the dry ingredients. I've taken two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, three fourths of a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. We'll sift these into the liquids. This part is vital. We need to be gentle while mixing this together. Over mixing the batter will develop gluten and make the pancakes tough. Trying to be as gentle as I can. I'm turning my bowl in the opposite direction of the whisk. I think I'm treating my batter like a baby. This is the consistency we are looking for. If you look carefully, you can still see some lumps. It's perfectly alright. Do not mix further to break these baby lumps. If you do so, you might end up over mixing the batter. Heat a good nonstick pan and add a few drops of oil to grease the pan. Then wipe it off completely. Do not leave any small drops of oil in the pan. If you have ever noticed your pancake having brown dots or patterns all over, then it's from the extra oil or butter that you greased your pan with. Please do not mix your batter again. Carefully scoop it from one side of the bowl and pour it close to your pan, not from a height. Heat of your pan is very important. It must be kept on low to medium. Ideally, it should take around 2 minutes to cook one side of your pancake without overbrowning it. You can flip the pancake when the edges started to settle and a few bubbles popping around. Look at the pancake rising. Next side should be done in a minute. Just make sure to flip your pancake close to the pan every time. If you flip it from a height, it will deflate the air bubbles created by the lavenous and it will not give a rise to your pancakes as you see now. And make sure not to flip your pancake more than once. To serve, add your favorite fruits, top it with butter, drizzle some pancake syrup, maple syrup, or even honey like I do for a wholesome breakfast. I like to sprinkle some icing sugar to make it look even more appetizing. You can even replace the butter with a thick slice of vanilla ice cream for a perfect weekend brunch. Click on the link for an easy vanilla ice cream recipe. And subscribe for more videos.